This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Razi Al Kane. I'm back with another tour review. And today, this magnificent package of the Hero is Born uh, Alpha Trion and Orion packs. Now, this is too big for my camera apparently. But this, I originally skipped it, to be honest, because I already have a Alpha Trion and Orion packs. But when I got the Wardon 2 pack, it didn't scale very well, so got my hand on this and I got it from GameStop. There was only two boxes left in Canada. One was in Fredericton, New Brunswick. Fredericton, New Brunswick, sorry. And the other one was somewhere in Alberta. I think or maybe Manitoba so I called GameStop because I couldn't order it online uh, they won't they wouldn't deliver so I called GameStop and asked you know do you guys do transfer from store to store he said yep so got this guy and I had forgotten it came with Vector Sigma that's pretty awesome actually uh, so basically if you look at the picture here the beard is wrong for this scene well we never saw the scene where he builds them so, but we know which episode it is uh, the ward on but Alpha Trion had a pinch rather than a beard in that episode. This is the Alpha Trion from the search for Alpha Trion and uh, the key to Vector Sigma. So I think this is pretty cool to have this set. Uh, maybe a head swap for people that are really nitpicking and would have loved to have this. But uh, now that we have all these packs, uh, the war done, and now they have the Senator Radbat stuff and uh, Senator Shockwave. And, uh, so I, I'm hoping kind of guessing that we might get a repaint or a slight retool of this guy with uh beta 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 uh depending how you pronounce it from the episode forever is a long time coming i think um so that'd be a cool pack that i'd get i would like to have a beta so now that they're doing more obscure characters uh, why not you know, it's uh, the, the G1 love letter keeps, uh, you know, keeps uh, writing itself, and it's fun. And I know a lot of people don't like G1. I love G1, so I'm happy with uh, these figures. But you know, like the Senator two packs, uh, I'm not gonna get them. Um, it's not for me, but I'm super happy for anybody that uh, wants them. Like my bud TFA uh, 1024, he's so ecstatic about getting that uh, uh, Shockwave uh, Orion Tax two pack. So. Happy for him. So, I'm gonna get on with this review. Before I do so, just wanna remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm super proud of. And also check out my sponsor, DJC Collectibles, fantastic online store, where you can get your 10% discount code at the end of this video. And now, let's roll the intro. Never seen you guys around before. I'm Orion, Orion Pax. Have you forgotten that you are my creation prime? You need these planes. All right, the set is too big to all fit at the same time. It's a pretty big box, and honestly, a good looking one. So you have your Hero is Born, you have your Damage or Almost Dead Orion packs, you have your Alpha Trion with the beard, as I mentioned, the Karatomi, you know, Transformers, 8 plus, but a lot of people enjoy it way more, way before they hit eight years old. So you have your Vector Sigma, the key, the alt mode, um, a space boat, looks really good. I'm happy with this set. Then you have, if my camera will show it, you have some good artwork of Orion Pax. I mean, they got the head design on par. And then you have uh, your Alpha Trion. So there you go. I don't think there was any spoiler on this one, you know. Nope. Nothing to spoil that there was a war done coming. So, all right, let's move this and the instructions. Uh, thank God for all of these steps here for Vector Sigma. Like, honestly, I don't think I could have pulled it off. And it's standard, you know, Alpha Tri uh, Orion packs on this side. It's the cup transformation. And this is Alpha Trion with the Scourge transformation. Uh, standard stuff, looks good. And this is what you get in the box. And honestly, it looks way better than I would have imagined. Um, I mean, I knew they were going to be good mainline figures, but I really love uh, the whole redeco and the slight retools, and it's honestly a really good set. Uh, a couple of things, though. I mean, okay, you have the key, the Vector Sigma, 
which if you bring it to earth and use it, it turns stuff into metal. So that's, you know, interesting. But there's no way to have him hold it. Like, you know, it just rests there or, or it doesn't. And then it, you know, there it doesn't go inside the five millimeter port. So it's painted, it's detailed, and but the only place you can actually place it is in Vector Sigma. So that's, you know, not a miss, but I don't know. Uh, the stand, you know, you can remove Vector Sigma and have it float. I am Vector Sigma. Before Cybertron was, I was. It looks good. I prefer the concept of Vector Sigma rather than the AllSpark, personally. I know Cyberverse had both, uh, where you could program Vector Sigma to control the AllSpark, I think. But, uh, and then Starscream kind of did that and consumed all the Seekers and blah, blah, blah. So, But the G1 was just, this is how you create new life. Which, you know, now that we have this, these guys, and uh, the Wardon and everything, I'm guessing the Arrow bots are going to be the next Combiner. I'm guessing. Uh, the stand itself, pretty, you know, standard stuff, uh, two-piece. Now, oh, this one's actually really tight, so I'm not going to force it, but... There you go. So that's Vector Sigma. And now you have... That's the... I don't know why they gave a gun to Alpha Trion, but it's the Scourge repaint. It's painted nice. It's still hollow. And then Orion Pax, who didn't have a gun, you have Cub's gun. And Cub's... Goodies. Energon goodies. And I still don't understand that. They gave the same thing with the, the Dion uh, remold. And to me, it still doesn't make sense. I mean, okay, I explained my theory that they all have the same alt mode because maybe in the past it wasn't as diversified or it was fashionable at the time or maybe they were all dock workers. Cup was also a dock worker. So, you know, before he got into the war nine million years ago, so that could be why they all have the same alt mode. Maybe it's the same thing. Everybody just walked around with Energon goodies. Could be. So... But uh, the figure himself looks really good. Uh, Orion Pax, I mean, I think this matches the animation model with the, the darker blue hand. Uh, but I think it looks just a little weird on the figure. Maybe if the hands would actually move and rotate because it, it it's painted up to the, you know, the wrist. So it just looks a little weird, but it, you know, does look good. Uh, he has a very nice head sculpt. There is, with him and Dion, I notice a very little light piping. Like there is a, you can't see it here because of my setup, but there's a f little clear line around the eyes. It's not the whole eyes that are hollow or not hollow clear. It's just a thin line. So you can put a light uh, behind it and it's gonna, you know, have a, a slight aura in the eye so it's kind of cool uh, but I do love the uh, the repaint uh, what's different from cup uh, is the chest piece that's different and the knees that's all different except you know of course the head sculpt so that's very very interesting uh, I think if it would have been just a straight repaint with a new head sculpt people wouldn't have been as thrilled with it and also uh, different toes they did the same thing with Dion where he he had like well, I'll, I'll show, uh, actually, I'll show it right now. I'll be right back. There you go, Invasion of the Oldies. Uh, I'm wrong. Uh, the I thought they were different, but they're the same. Cup, well, he's been enhanced with Toy Hacks, has the same toes, but Dion does have um, slightly, you know, there's a little curve, while this is just a straight line from uh, the top of the foot to the uh, toes. So, you know, slight remolds are always interesting to me. And I love how they did the, uh, the, you know, shin guard or the knee guard. Looks good. Uh, but everything else is pretty much the same. And now we're going to take a look at Alpha Trion. And I think he's fantastic. I love the way that they changed this from the Scourge mold. Just a slight difference to give him more of his uh, regular look. Um, the fact that he has both open hands. So for those who don't know... Um, Scourge had a closed fist, open hand. The sweep had closed fist, open hand. So this one is going to be, 
you know, is two open hands. So I'm going to call it, if they do that two-pack I mentioned, where you have A3 and Beta, uh, he's going to have two closed fists. Check it out. No, Superion! You must live that I may be born. Uh, but looks really good. The paint looks really nice, or the, you know, colored plastic. Love how they did this here. This is painted on top and here. Uh, little, you know, all the details, that little holes there. You know, you can see some screws, but it happens. They're robots after all. The head sculpt is fantastic. And he doesn't have any light piping though, so. And I'm a, I like uh, when uh, you can have some light pipings on your figures. So. And it's pretty much, that's, you know, the retool is this, this piece here. Uh, the different hand and this piece here for uh, that goes behind the head in transformation that's different pretty much anything else is the same as scourge transforms the same looks good too so there you go um i'm not going to do articulation and stuff because we've already all seen this mold uh but uh you know it's it, check out my uh, review of uh, cup or the dion or scourge well sweep and uh, you'll uh, have the articulations there. But I will do some size comparison. So here we have Alpha Trion and Orion packs with Iron Factory, Last Prophet, and McFans Toys, Rebels. And I really do love these figure. I mean, he has a very interesting transformation. He has an amazing transformation. Really good figure boat. It just, scaling, I realize, is getting important to me. So I'm probably gonna have these uh, two boys for sale soon. But they look really good, they're fantastic figures, but I only need one version of each character. So there you go. Now with the arch enemy of A3 and the best friend of Orion, Dion, and I think that uh, kind of scales well together. And now with his future self, Optimus Prime, and the inspiration for the mold Sweep or Scourge. And not a lot of people buy my theory, but I'm, my headcanon is that because Unicron, you know, fought in the past, he fought the 13 Primes, he probably saw Alpha Trion somewhere in there, and he copied the mold to ridicule Alpha Trion when he made Scourge. So that would explain uh, why the two have a similar space boat or space canoe mode. You don't have to agree with my headcanon, because it's mine. And now let's take a look in alt mode. Hmm, she used her special power. I warned her not to. Oh, we unload the energy shipments from the power plant upriver. And now for the alt modes, they look really good. I mean, you know, we've seen this mold before, uh, but the color scheme and everything looks good. I mean, he doesn't need the gun, and uh, this thing keeps popping off. But... Yeah, to me that makes sense that he's that mold. He's a dock worker, so. And also, there you go. These are the Nemesis Prime Spoiler Pack uh, Energon Cube that came in that little black goo. But uh, there you go. He should have come with that. You know, they should have reshoot that instead of this and the gun. And then Alpha Trion, I love the colors on this guy. You know, the kind of off-white all around. I'm colorblind again, as he could. This could be purple, I don't know. But this is purple. Pretty sure that's purple. And then that, you know, wine red, burgundy red. Looks good. The window. And then you have the little horns from the head sculpts is sticking out, but it looks really good. And then you have the turbines. You can see the robot mode. But I'm guessing back in the days, you know, they... Over 9 million years, they perfected the art of hiding the body within the, you know, but, oh, unclipped. Happens sometimes. This guy needs to be lined up perfectly pretty much anywhere if you want to have no gaps. And then my son popped this one off uh, playing with it, and uh, at this point, it doesn't really want to it, it pops off easily, so be careful. I mean, I haven't found any QC issue with this set. Um, except maybe that little gap here. Uh, can you see it? Yeah, so... But that's about it. And, oh, this one rolls really good. But Dion honestly has the best roll of all the uh, 
a different mold. And this one, well, doesn't roll, but uh, it flies pretty good. There you go. So there you go. The, this is going to be my review of the Hero is Born 2 pack. And I'm really happy to have this set. Like I said, I'm going to sell the uh, extra figures I have and uh, have this in my display with the other Season 2. Uh, I have like a row of more obscure Season 2, like the female Autobots and Wardon in this pack. And so... And I might add Skids to that display because he was in less episode than Alpha Trion, actually. And just for a quick size comparison, here they are with other Cybertronian modes. And uh, I think that's, you know, scales pretty well. I mean, Bumblebee's a little big compared to uh, Orion Pax, but it fits. I like them. So I'm happy with my collection. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, Nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.